Hey everybody, it's Rev Tim on uh, Wednesday afternoon, very autumnal here in Fresno. Um, I'm aware today's Veterans Day, but um, I always think on Veterans Day um, that it was originally created right after World War I by President Wilson as Armistice Day. It was a day to celebrate and lift up the importance of peace. And over time, not that we shouldn't honor veterans, and we do, and we do here at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Fresno, and we will on Sunday. Um, so we, yes, honor veterans, but we've moved away from the idea of this day also be about lifting up peace. I think our, our militarized focus um, has lost what, it, what President Wilson originally wanted it to be, uh, a, a worldwide recognition of the importance of peace. So, a poem for Veterans Day, a poem for Armistice Day. It comes from the poet Yusef Kamunyaka. And I'll just let you see his picture there. Um, Yusef Kamunyaka. And uh, it's called Thanks. And there goes Grayson, my dog. <laughs> he just chased a bird. Um, thanks. Thanks for the tree between me and a sniper's bullet. I don't know what made the grass sway seconds before the Viet Cong raised his soundless rifle. Some voice always followed, telling me which foot to put down first. Thanks for deflecting the ricochet against that anarchy of dusk. I was back in San Francisco, wrapped up in a woman's wild colors, causing some dark bird's love call to be shadowed, shattered by daylight. When my hands reached up and pulled a branch away from my face. Thanks for the vague white flower that pointed to the gleaming metal reflecting how it is to be broken like mist over the grass as we played some deadly game for blind gods. What made me spot the monarch writhing on a single thread tied to a farmer's gate, holding the day together like an unfingered guitar string is beyond me. Maybe the hills grew weary and leaned a little bit in the heat. Again, thanks for the dud hand grenade tossed at my feet outside Chu Lai. I'm still falling through its silence. I don't know why the intrepid sun touched the bay bayonet, but I know that something stood among those lost trees and moved only when I moved. Hmm. That imagery is so powerful and beautiful and the the spirituality that infuses those words is, is palpable. Um, almost a, a summoning of a, of a guardian angel or a divine presence in the poem by Yusef Kamunyaka called Thanks. So, thank you. Thank you to all the veterans who our members and friends of the Unitarian Universalist Church of Fresno, thank you for your service and your sacrifice. I also want to lift up 
anyone who has loved ones who are currently serving in the military today. And we want to honor those currently serving. And of course, for any among us who had a loved one lost while serving in the military, our hearts wrap a gentle hug around you. And as you hold your unique grief and acknowledge that empty place in your heart. So today, let's celebrate our veterans, but remember Armistice Day and let us recommit ourselves to what sometimes seems like an impossible dream, that prayer, that hope, that possibility of peace on earth, goodwill to all.